Hey, curl friends. Welcome. Welcome back to Find Natural Hair Rocks. And I'm your girl, Lavinia Latham. So right now, we are, of course, going to be unpackaging the Rever. And I'm just going to give a few seconds or so um, for people to pop up. Now, thank you so much for joining. I wanted to also say thank you so much to Revere for actually sending the Revere on over to me, um, the Revere being the Revere company. Um, I'm going to show you the box that we're about to unpack. It's literally right here. And so we're going to go off and unpack this goodie today. So let me just see who is online, and then we can kind of go from there. Um, the Revere, as you might know, is a reverse hair dryer that allows you to kind of put your strands into like a vacuum type compartment and really blow dry it through a reverse air dryer technology straight. So um, I've already actually got the Revere that like the first version of it. So the first iteration of it, which would have been released, I want to say just before the pandemic. Um, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, but if I'm not, then yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much what's going on. Hi, Carl. Thank you so much for joining. Um, right now, I think it's just you and I here. Um, and that's okay. That's absolutely fantastic. For all of you, um, if you did go in the comments, um, or not the comments, but the community tab, and you were one of those people who kind of said, hey, I can come or no, I can't come. Fantastic. Thank you so much for letting me know about your participation. Um, because it is the middle of the day and people are working. So that's A-OK. -okay. So I've got my trusty scissors and I'm going to go ahead and open this on up. So I'm just going to come off camera so that you guys get a perfect bird's eye view of what's going on here. Um, so yeah, let's just twist this on over this way so you can actually see it. So the box itself is actually quite cute. It does say hello beautiful and then at the bottom it has like your revere has arrived so that's pretty cool i think their packaging is spot on you've got the blue going on there um and everything else in the sense of just the the marketing and the continuity of their colors so let's just open this on up Ooh, so there's more beautiful blue going on there um as you can see it's kind of got the prepare to be amazed. It says it should, what if shook is what you're going for, we've got you, Revere. That is so cute. I absolutely love it. Um, I like their packaging a lot so far. I think that their marketing is really bang on and that's pretty cool. So here, as you can see, it says open me. They've got like a little scan code going on here um, because they do have social medias that they've got. Um, and also, if you are interested in purchasing your own Revere, just know that we do have a special Curl Friend Crew discount code. You can get 10% off the Revere. It's FNH Rocks. Um, so it says rev it, love it, share it, hashtag my Revere. Love it, love it, love it. So there's that. Let's get to the goods. <laughs> All right, so it appears that this is the actual device. So this is the part that you would put your hair in. Um, I know this because, like I said before, I've got the first one, um, the first iteration of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this on up. I like the way that they kind of made sure that it was protected and that, you know, it's not falling apart, anything like that, or getting scratched up. So right off the bat, this is a lot more sleek. I think it's a nicer design. Um, the front is a lot smaller, I think. Um, I'm actually going to do a comparison video for you guys between the first Revere and this Revere to see if there's any real differences. This, I would imagine, is where the hose goes um, so that you kind of attach the hose to the head of the Revere of the actual wand, um, and then you connect it to the device. Right off the bat, looking at this right now, I'm actually incredibly shocked <laughs> and shook it to use Revere's terms. And I mean, this actually is. Like, the fact that the whole thing can fit in my hands is amazing. And again, it's got this soft kind of like spandex material on the front of it um, to protect it while it's in transport to me. I will say um, right off the bat as well, thank you so much, Revere, for sending this to me. I did not purchase it with my own money. It was gifted to me. And for that, I am eternally grateful that, you know, Revere decided to share this very special, um, you know, change and technological advance with Fine Natural Hair Rocks. So here we have the actual device itself. This is the base unit. 
again, it's extremely small, y'all. Like, it's super small. Um, it's got the cord. So let's see how long the cord is. That's so cute. They even got their little Revere packaging right there. Let me know in the comment section if you're a sucker for packaging, because I know I am. Like, I just love to see beautiful packaging. I'm going to go ahead and take this on off. And, yeah, there's just a choking hazard on it. You don't want to get it wet. Of course not. Um, like, either type of electronic. It's got some protection right here on the front to just protect it from, um, you know, accidentally electrocuting someone if it's a, maybe a small child gets a hold of it or a puppy like in our case I've got a little puppy now his name is Casper He's super cute super mischievous but anywho um so here it is the start button is right here so it's very very low um very very small rather and it looks like it has like showing the filter on the side here as well too so you can kind of see like the filter, like the entire design is different. Again, let me know in the comment section if this is something you're interested in seeing, like how, like a comparison even between the new Rivera and like the older Rivera. And I will absolutely make that happen to, for you. Hi, Renee. Uh, Renee says, didn't know they had a new product, just got the original one. Yes, Renee. You know what? If you just got the original product and you're seeing the new one now, um, maybe kind of reach out to Revere and they might be able to help you out. I totally get that there's some of us who may have already purchased and, you know, you want the new thing, right? Um, so yeah, definitely reach out to them and see. And let them know that you saw the review on Financial Hair Rocks, you're interested in it, and you never know. They might be able to help you out. Can't make any promises. I don't work for Revere. I was gifted this from Revere. But um, yeah, let me see what else is going on here. Uh, Jackie, yeah, same. I'm upset. I just got the old one. Yeah. Honestly, crow friends, like if that's your situation right now, absolutely try it out. Hi, Patricia. Um, Jackia says, Jackia, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Please let me know. I got mine for $315 though. The new one is 500. Yes. Very good point, crow friend. The new one is a lot more expensive than the old one. We still have our discount code. Our discount code is absolutely still working. Um, the FNH rocks that you see kind of scrolling along the bottom there. So that's still working. Um, thank goodness. Renee, the OG is pretty heavy. I would have paid extra for something smaller. Um, hi, Renee. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> um, you know, I, I totally understand that. It was pretty... Um, kind of kept under wraps what was happening. I wanted to tell you guys so badly on our last live stream that this was happening, but, you know, contractually speaking, I was on like a confidentiality or else type vibe. Um, so that's the reason why I wasn't able to share. But if you are still within um, your return policy timeline, I would strongly suggest that you um, send on your old one back and see what they can do towards your new one. Uh, this one is more compact. Yes, Patricia, it's absolutely more compact. I'm going to go ahead and give you a better view of what's going on down here again. Um, so yeah, so this is what the bottom of it looks like. Um, super compact. I feel like I can actually travel with um, bought like your luggage and everything a lot more heavier, of course, but still. So the one thing that's really changed about it is like, there's like this plus this minus button. So this is a button and there's a plus button here too. And I imagine that that's kind of like a display that is going to allow you to kind of show, um, you know, what the heat setting is, anything like that. So like I said before, I think that this is where, the wand would go. So let's let's have a look at how long the wand is. So that's the device itself. I'm just going to set that over here um, so that we have some space to look at the actual wand next. Here's the filter. So this filter pretty much looks the exact same as the old filter. I think you can probably fit your old filter into the new device. Um, for those of you who are wondering what that even means, you take the filter like so. And then you kind of line up this little, kind of like a lip. You line that up with that hole right there and you kind of just click it into place. And it should, once you put the actual, um, the hose on it, it should lock. So that's that. The good thing is, is if you have the second iteration of this, you should be able to use both. So there, there that is right there. So there's more packaging, um, you know, base controls your tension level. So we saw that with the base. Um, and then this wand is where the magic happens with, you know, the whole pulling your hair in effect. So 
Oh, what's also cool about it, just looking at these pieces right here, additional items below tray. So there's a manual inside of here. There's also a hose that we haven't gotten to yet. And then there's a wanderess. So I believe that the wanderess part is this right here, like this little lip. That's the wanderess right there. So not sure how that might work, but we're going to play with it. We're going to play with it. So let's get rid of this. And thank you for joining me live to everyone who's here. I know we're in the middle of the workday. I really do appreciate you for making time to be here. Um, I love you. I love you so much. So thank you. <laughs> um, so this is the quick start guide right here. And it just gives instructions on how to attach the hose, how to attach the wand, and then also the wand reset. Um, so that's something that's new. I don't remember having this on my old Rivera that wasn't actually there before. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to play around with that and see how that might even work. But that's what that kind of looks like there. Um, and that's actually a really good thing because on the old Rivera, what was happening was it was heavy, it was a bit chunky. And so you really had to find some kind of like table space to put your Rivera on and to hold it without it like falling on the floor and mashing up, that kind of a thing. Um, it's nice to see that, you know, my Rivera, the company actually thought of this. And instead of, you know, charging it as an additional fee, which on the old device, there was an additional fee for like a wand holder on the new device. It seems like it just comes along with it um, since this is here. So I actually don't know how to set that up. I'm going to have to figure that out because I'm unboxing for the first time. Like I literally just opened it a little bit just to make it a le little less awkward for us. <laughs> but I didn't take all the stuff out. So this is new to me, too. So let's go back on down to the device itself, um, the manual. So it does tell you exactly how to, um, you know, go ahead and wash your hair, how to use it. So you can see that you can wash it first, revere, and then love. So the packaging that comes with it is pretty cool. It's got settings of slow and low. Um, so the heat is on. So like we mentioned, like I said earlier, that little spot in the front of it is actually where it's going to tell you how much heat you've got going on, right? Um, and then you can kind of either go high or you can go low. So um, sectioning um, size matters. Begin with a three inch by three inch section at the scalp. If your hair has a lot of volume, start slightly smaller so you don't block airflow in the wand. So this that tip right there, if you've got the older Revere, I think you should be okay to follow that. Um, just having used my Revere over and over a couple of times now, I do realize that the smaller the section, the better, right? Um, you want to root around and then you want to also go with the flow. So here um, they've got a woman with textured hair and she's they're just showing exactly how long it might take. I really appreciate the fact um, let me come up a little bit closer for you guys. So I really appreciate the fact that like you have different curl types here. So coily, curly, wavy, and straight. Um, so if you've got fine natural strands, of course, your hair can, your fine strands could be coily with like a zigzag curl the way mine are. Um, they could be curly, they could be wavy, or they could be straight. Um, and you know, th there's so many different variations of what textured hair might look like. Um, but here on fine natural hair rocks, I do feel like the Revere is, um, very fine, natural hair friendly. So essential maintenance. So it does tell you, oops, sorry guys. Woo. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> so it does tell you how to maintain um, the device and the heat producing wand. It also gives you the base unit. So then there's like a nice little display of what's going on over there as well. So jumping back into the box. So this is, of course, where the actual device was sitting. Let's see what's at the bottom. So um, right here, we've got an operating manual. I'm not going to go through all of that on camera, but there is just more details on like how to maintain it. And here's the wand. So here's the wand again with the beautiful packaging. I'm going to take that off. And then here's the other side as well. And I'm also going to take that off. Do you want to see exactly how it like, it operates. Do you want to see like a size comparison between the old Revere and the new Revere? If that's you, then let me know in the comment section, because I only want to make content that you're actually interested in seeing. Okay, so this is giving me some troubles. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut it off. If I can find my scissors. There it is. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut off this little piece here because I don't need that anyways. Um, yeah, so if you want to see that, let me know. If you want to see a tutorial on how to actually use this device, then let me know that too, and I'd be happy to create that content uh, for you right here on Financial Hair Rocks. So here's the front. Here's the or the, the base part, this attaches to the base. So, uh-oh, we're falling apart. Okay, so let me see what fell. Oh, the little wand fell on the floor, that's okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab the filter like I mentioned to you. And the filter goes in like this. And then this piece right here, you want to line up these items here with the top. So this is similar to the first revere in the sense that you take the bottom, you kind of clip it in like that, and then you kind of just turn the knob to lock it in place. See? So it's not actually going anywhere. That's actually good to go right there. So let's see how long the actual nozzle is. So they seem to have reduced like the length of the actual tube, which I think is really good. Um, I'm just going to drop that on the floor. So I think this is really good that they reduced how long the actual tube was because before it was just a little bit too long. So just to give you kind of like an idea here on camera, if you can see that, it's really not that long. Again, I am going to do another video. I think there's quite a few of us who want to see what this looks like in comparison to the initial Rivera. Um, so I'm happy to do that. At, on another video. So stay tuned to Find Natural Hair Rocks on Mondays because um, I will either do a live just like we are on right now or a brand new upload. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And this looks different, curl friends. This actually looks different. Um, I don't remember being able to pull apart the initial um, Rivera wand and the, and the actual tubing itself. I don't remember that. So they make it super easy, though, because right here, you've kind of got like that area that makes it clear that you're ne you need to connect that to the hose right here where they kind of have the entrance piece to, to connect it into. So I hope you can see that. So let's go ahead and do that together right here on camera and see how that even works. So, OK, so this is a little Oh, there we go. OK, so there. So you just literally what I did was let me do it again for you. I lined it up with like this piece here. So there's like a an opening at the top here, like it kind of like goes down and then it also goes up here. So that tells me that that's where it needs to line up on. And then I just give it a turn, a small turn towards the right clockwise direction. Um, so yeah, that's what that looks like here. So on the one, there's the, this means pressure. So if you want, sorry, heat. This is high heat, and down here is low heat, and then the middle is no heat. Um, and then on the actual device itself, I believe this is going to show you your tension settings. So that's what that's for. Um, so you know what? While we're here, how about we try to see if we can figure out the whole lip thing? Um, I imagine that this would go in like that, just as I did there. So it's pretty intuitive how to make this work. And then the wand, you literally just, maybe you can put it like that. Um, I would imagine maybe even put it like that, but it's just a little place to like have it sit. So um, that's how I think it works, just first impressions of this. Um, but that might change once I play with this a little bit more. So let me see what's going on in our comments. And then we can kind of go from there. Um, okay, so Renee, I have to run. Looking forward to watching the rest of this on replay. Thank you, Renee. Thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> and, and you you know, we'll, we'll, we can connect back in the comments. No worries about that. Jackie, I put mine on the toilet, LOL. I got the wand holder, which feels like a necessity. Yes, I agree with you completely. I feel like you don't want your device to be banging all over the place. Um, I do think that the wand holder is a necessity. I actually don't have the wand holder and I wish I did purchase it. Um, so this is a very, nice addition to have the wand holder created right inside of the actual Revere itself. I think that's a really fantastic change. Um, I purchased my first Revere myself. Um, that was completely by my own funds. I wanted to see what the technology was about. Um, so yeah. Uh, have you ever tried their Wave Goodbye hair primer? It says it's a leave-in heat protectant, especially for fine thin hair. Yes, I have tried their Wave Goodbye hair primer. I 
absolutely love it. It's right up there in terms of my favorites with my try tested and true. Um, oh my gosh, what is it called again? It's it comes in a red bottle. Hold on, let me grab it for you. <laughs> This is what I usually use. This is the Chi Silk Infusion. Um, but Revere has a very comparable, really fantastic um, primer that I love to use as well. I don't have a lot of it left. I only have little samples that came along with my first Revere. Um, and this one doesn't have those. So I think it's a wonderful product. If you're interested in getting that, by the way, if you do end up purchasing anything from Revere, that code FNH rocks is going to work on the entire site. So that's something that you should probably know just to save some coin because saving money is important. Hi, Patricia. Thank you for coming. Patricia says I'm at work, happen to be on lunch break. Welcome. Thank you so much. I absolutely feel honored to be a part of your lunch break, to be a part of your time. Any of you, anyone who's watching, um, because, you know, time is of the essence. So let's go ahead and maybe plug this on in and see. Let's see if it could even fit over. The, oops, I don't think you can see that. Okay. There we go. That's a better angle. Let's see if it will move, like if it will move from my desk over here over to down there in terms of the cord. I'm really interested to see that. I will have to remove my headphones just because my headphones don't stretch that far. But I just want to see, you know, right here how long this cord actually is. Because if anybody needs length, it's going to be on the cord. Like, let me know. Like, <laughs> if you're like me, like I like long cords so I can move things where it needs to be moved especially if you're in a bigger room that isn't as accessible. Um, this room's pretty accessible, so we don't have that issue. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take my headphones off. And show you really what this looks like. So I'm taking this off. All right. So I put my headphones back on so you guys can hear me. And then, yeah, so we're all connected it went to the wall just fine um this is what it looks like the actual system has lit up now so we can change oops i want you to be able to see there we go so you can be able to change like oh wow so let's start with level one that's a level one stretch two three four five Six, seven. So that's the loudest it will get, which is, I think, in my view, from what I remember, a big difference to the original device. So I'm just going to see what that feels like in here for just first impressions. So, yeah, so that feels pretty good. Very light, like, pull. Okay, not bad. Yeah, so definitely the higher up you go, the temperature remains the same, but it does end up sucking more. You hear that? So if you've got super coily strands like I do, you're going to want to be using a tension method that is actually conducive to stretching out very tightly coily curls. Um, and textured hair, which is exactly what I need when I'm revering my hair. So those are my first impressions. So far, so good. I'm very excited to try this out on my hair. Right now, I am pre-pooing my strands um, just with my regular Nature's Little Secret Fenugreek pre-poo. I'm going to wash my hair. Um, I probably will try out this revere. I'm going to film it for Fine Natural Hair Rock so you can see, is there even a difference um, or, or how it even operates. So like how to use it period um, with your actual hair. And then we will talk about the differences between the newer Vair and the older Vair um, to really help you make this decision. Because again, like it is, a, it is a lot of money. Like we are out here to save our money. We're out here to be making sure that when we are saving coins, we're not doing so um, irresponsibly. That's very important. Um, I will say, I think the price of the Revere is very expensive. So $429 is quite expensive. However, 
Um, if you are somebody who likes to do your hair yourself, which is something that I highly encourage, if you want to see greater length retention, thicker strands, oftentimes you go to the salons outside, people don't really know how to deal with fine strands in a way that will amplify the health and the strength of your, um, your strands itself. And so because, you know, you touch your hair all the time, you're doing research about what works, what doesn't work. Um, using something like the Revere, using any heat on your hair, any tension on your hair, because this is tension, um, you are going to be in the best position to determine whether or not you're hurting your strands or helping your strands, and you can adjust accordingly. However, if you're just putting your hair into the, the hands of somebody else all the time, you never really get to do that. And I say all that because a blowout, a blowout session at the salon is very expensive, right? Like here in Canada, like I live in Toronto, I every time I go to the salon, it's about $200. So really, I only go there to either achieve um, you know, looks that I'm not as well able to achieve at home. Um, maybe there's protective styles like box braids and twists, something I haven't done lately anyways. Or, um, you know, if I wanted to do just a blowout, so like a wash, a treatment, a blowout, girl, that's easily $200 here in Toronto. Like, <laughs> if I could just buy this device for $400, I mean, doing the math, two missed trips to the salon is already nearly paying off for that price. Now it is $429 the last time I checked it, US. If you are purchasing your Revere outside of the US, it's going to be a little bit more um, just because of the exchange rate, right? But yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say, because I was so excited to share this with you. If you enjoyed this live unboxing and tutorial on how to use this new device, then please go ahead and give this video a like. It really helps find natural hair rocks out. Um, one thing that I need to address is we are absolutely still having that giveaway. <laughs> We're having the giveaway. I've just been crazy busy with the puppy and life and everything, but we are still having the giveaway. So please stay tuned for the giveaway. Um, I'm going to drop, you know what, let's put a date on it right now. That giveaway is going to be dropped on Monday, July 29th. If I'm correct. No, that's not even a date. <laughs> Hold on. Monday, Monday, August, Monday, August 1st, we're going to drop the giveaway. So if you watch this live, you've got first dibs on, you know, when that giveaway is going to be dropped and you can absolutely join in on the fun. So you like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe to us, find Natural Hair Rocks if you haven't subscribed already. And thank you so much. Have a blessed and wonderful Monday. It is the middle of the afternoon. I hope you have a great dinner and you have a wonderful afternoon. And yeah, thank you for joining me on Unboxing My Revere. <laughs> uh, before I head out, let me just make sure I'm responding to you. Um, Patricia says, PSR 076, Patricia says, I'm working too at home so I can listen, LOL. Thank you, love. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Sia says, are there custom fees for Canadians if you order from their website? So that I don't know off the top of my head. Um, I think I did pay for custom. No, did I pay for customs? I paid for the, um, you know, exchange rate on the first Revere, not on this one. So this is gifted. Um, but the second, the first Revere, I had to pay for those exchange rates. And then, yes, I think, no, I didn't pay customs. I don't think I paid customs. Girl, I would have remembered that. <laughs> Like, I would remember that. I didn't pay customs. So um, you shouldn't pay customs, I don't think. But things can change because, you know, the border people be crazy. Things are one thing one day, something completely another, a next. It all depends on which officer you catch. Um, fun fact, I used to work for CBSA when I was a student. So it really does come down to which officer is handling your goods. Sometimes they're in a good mood and they just let things pass by. Other times they're like, mm, I'm going to like charge for everything. So um, best of luck with that. Custom fees are no fun. Um, but yeah, have a blessed and wonderful day. I will see you on Monday with our newest upload, which is going to be how to even use this baby on fine natural hair strands. And I'm also going to give you an update on how my strands are doing since I started using the Revere more often. See you guys on Monday. Have a good one. Bye.